Hello, I'm talking to you from Plum Village in southwest France. It's the end of the third week of the summer retreat, and I'm talking here with uh, Harper Carmen, who's from, and I'm going to read it out, the Peace Heart Alliance for Conflict Transformation, which is an NGO in Liberia. Uh, and it's a pretty extraordinary one, and uh, Harper's going to tell me about it. So, um, what is FACT, uh, this NGO of yours? Well, the Peace Heart Alliance for Conflict Transformation, it's a uh, non-governmental, it's a charity organization involved in um, helping to bring relief and peace to people and their communities um, through the teaching of meditation, uh, mediation, and mindfulness practices. And uh, I know that it's called FACT for short. Um, so FACT, um, why bring the ideas of FACT and the work fr of FACT from Liberia uh, to Plum Village in France? What are you guys doing here in, in Plum Village? Well, f um, FACT has been teaching um, trauma healing, mediation, and other things in the past. But uh, with the help of uh, Plum Village, inviting uh, my one of my colleagues, um, uh, Christian, to Plum Village, he came back with the mindfulness training. And uh, this training has helped us uh, to be very easy in working with people, helping them re um, regaining their, their, their self-esteem and uh, reuniting families. And also, most especially, this training has also helped us in making great change to our lives and our families. And so you're talking about mindfulness, and this is an additional question. Uh, this is mindfulness applied in Liberia to a country where there's been uh, years of civil war, where you've just recently had the Ebola crisis, and there's a little bit left uh, still going on with that. Uh, where there are many widows from the war uh, and ex-combatants. How does mindfulness apply to those uh, challenges? Well, uh, as you just said, Liberia comes from uh, a long term of war, more than 16 years, and followed by the Ebola, which has left behind the post-traumatic stress disorder, and le leaving behind a lot of survivors from the survival, orphans, widows, and so this is a great challenge for us. And besides that, uh, the war brought about uh, some unmindful behaviors in a lot of the youth and some others. And this unmindful behavior has been practiced in many forms and ways in Liberia. And even on radio programs, sometimes they go about insulting leaders. And so we feel strongly that this mindfulness training can make a great impact on the lives of the Liberian people. Thank you for that, Harper. Um, nice explanation about mindfulness. Um, the last question is um, where are you going with FACT? What do you? What is your dream for the organization? What do you hope to achieve? Well, ju just as I, I just said, uh, people are very unmindful. And so our dream is to engage the younger ones to have a, a, a mission, a boarding school, where we can have these young ones uh, trained academically and mindfully so that they grow in the teaching and practicing of mindfulness. Uh, so as they get older, that practice will be part of their lives and they can help others as they, as they go about with their lives. Harper, thank you very much. Um, so that's Harper Carmen. I've had the privilege of meeting him here this week in Plum Village. If you want to find out more information about FACT, uh, we'll give you details in the description for this video.